Hey guys, and welcome to the video. Take a look at some of the amazing things that you're gonna be learning very soon. What you just watched right there was a promotional video I created in just 10 minutes. And this is part of video marketing. But what is video marketing and should you be doing it? If you use social media, you're most likely marketing. Think about it. If you're someone who shares a video or a photo on Instagram, you're doing it because you want to share it with people and hopefully they'll watch it, like it or comment on it. Or maybe you're doing it because you're fed up with your nine to five job, which makes you feel like staying in bed every morning. And you're trying to build a business doing something you love, you're passionate about by marketing yourself or your product on social media. This is where video marketing comfortably fits in. Facebook is the biggest social media platform with over 2 billion users. It has a ratio of 52% video versus 48% pictures. TikTok, like it or not, is the fastest growing social media platform and it's now passed 1 billion downloads. It's only a few years old. It's exclusively a video platform. YouTube, a social media platform, is watched more than Netflix. Almost everyone I know watches Netflix. Instagram is both video and pictures, with Instagram stories being really popular right now. And over half of the stories added use video. These are just some of the reasons why video and video marketing is so important on social media. Now in this video, I'm going to show you the best way to do video marketing in 2020. Everything I do on social media for my own brand at Ben's Guide, or it's for other companies where I take care of their social media. The most important step first for me is to save time. If you can free up time by making your workflow smarter, then you're going to feel less stressed, less overwhelmed, and you're gonna get more done. Just be a better all round person at home or at work. I achieve this by using some programs, but the main one I use is in video. I'm gonna walk you through a simple step-by-step -step process of how to use parts of in video to make your life easier and create amazing videos for your social media or your business. Okay guys, so this video today is gonna to be a little bit longer than my usual videos. And the reason for that is so I can really take you through a step-by-step -step guide to really get the most out of in video so that you can produce some really dynamic and attractive videos if it's for marketing, for social media, or for your business. Now in video is particularly good at this because it makes the whole process really simple. Now all you need to do is make sure you're using Google Chrome, type in in video, and then you're going to arrive at this page after you've signed in. Now this is showing you exactly what can be done on the program itself. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to create pre-made templates and then how to edit them so that you can create videos out of these really quickly. And this is the best way to do video marketing in 2020 because you want to be freeing up time and you want to be getting the most out of the time that you have. And this is a brilliant way to do it with video. So I'm just going to quickly walk you through a very kind of over brief overview of each one of these parts of video and what they do. So let's just start here. You really have so many options on this program, but one of the first ones you can do is you can create a video from blogs and this is really good because if you've got some text content and you want to turn it into a video this is the best way to do it. You can use the extensive library of videos which is used in InVideo to actually build this around your text and this is important because different people learn in different ways. Some people are audio, some people are visual so it's important to capture all these different types of people with different kinds of content. You can also do this with a URL to video where you can actually type in the URL 
and then it brings the information of your article through this way. You can then turn that into a video. Logo Revealers is really cool when you actually want to do intros and outros and actually reveal your brand logo. And then you've got media first videos where you're actually adding your own media into the videos. Now the one that we're going to be looking at today is pre-made templates. But just before I jump in and show you how to do this in a walkthrough, I'm going to actually show you a really cool feature of this program which I use. If I go up here and down to brand presets, you can see here that you have something where you can actually add in your brand details. So you can add in your brand name, you can add in the text that's used for your brand name, and then you can add in your brand logo. And the reason this is really important and really useful is because you can add this into each one of your videos. You then have this where it gets taken a step further. You can put in your colors which you use across your brand. And this is brilliant because you can always make sure with these hex codes here that you're always getting consistent colors across every video that you create. This is something that's really useful and it's probably often overlooked. So let's just click back onto in video here and then let's click into pre-made templates. What I love about this part of InVideo is how simple it is to set up a video. Now you've already got the templates, which I'm gonna show you in just a moment, but where I start is actually thinking about the social media which I'm going to be creating. You can see that you've got all your options here. You've got Facebook Story, YouTube, Instagram Story, Instagram Post, and the list just goes on as you can see. You can keep clicking to the side. Now for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a YouTube video. So you can see that that's already ticked and selected. So let's now come down and let's have a look at the different categories on offer with these pre-made templates. You've got Valentine's Day special, what's heart, just added, videos in under 10 minutes. And this is actually really good for people which don't have much experience with creating videos. You can actually get simple templates here and create a video in under 10 minutes. And if you just go over this, you can actually preview the video without clicking into it. You can see the lovely smooth transitions here and you can decide if that's gonna be the video for you. If we ca carry on coming a bit further down here, I'm gonna show you the actual template which we're gonna be using for today's video. So once again, you can see you got a preview of the video here. Now this is definitely the video I'm gonna show you today. So I'm just gonna click straight on it and this is gonna take us into the next section. You can also see at this point that you have audio which you can add to your videos. Now this is the audio which is currently on this video but you can of course change that if you don't want it. Let's just click straight into use this template. When this is loaded, you can see here that you're actually loaded straight into an editor. Now this editor is really simple to use. So if you've got no experience in doing video editing, it's gonna be so simple to get your head around. So you can get to grips with it really quickly and then make the most of it. Now as you can see, I've got the actual video here in front of me. Now this is displayed down here in this section and you can see each video in the timeline. So this is each part of the video which shows up here. Now, this is really important to have these separated down here because you can actually change transitions between the video, as you can see here. You've got all of these different transitions which look really professional, and we're gonna have a look at those in a bit more detail. First up though, let's just start showing you straight away how easy this is to use. So for instance, if I wanna change this text, because it's not in English and uh, that's not gonna work well for the promotional video where I'm promoting it. I just need to click on this and on the right hand side, you're gonna see an edit area. This means I can edit the text. Now you've got all your different options down here to start editing with. So you've got style. This is the style of the text and this is the font you're gonna be using. So you can change that there. You've got all different fonts to choose from, a whole range of fonts, which is actually really useful. When you've decided on the font you're gonna use, you can then look at changing the size of the font. 
So you've got font size, you've got line height, and then you can change it if it's bold, italic, underlined, and then of course you can make this center aligned, left or right aligned. Then you can look at changing the color of the text here, which is gonna be important of course. So if I wanna change this text say to a purplish color, I can just drag that there, click on it, and then the text is changed to this color, which is really simple and easy to do. Now you've got box colors, which means that if you've got a text box, you can actually change the color of that as well. Now the opacity is on zero, but there is a box. So if I drag this up, you can see that there's actually a text box around the text. In this case, I don't want to use that, so I'm just going to drag the opacity right down. This is a really important part to make your videos look really professional. This is animating the actual text itself. So you can simply click on that and then you can choose in or out. So in is when the text is actually coming into the scene and out is when, of course, it's going out of the scene. So if I wanted to change this, I could just change the effect here. At the moment it's on fade. I'm actually gonna choose something else so we can see it working. And then I'm just gonna choose, let's say, let's say blur. And then I'm gonna choose it to blur in. You can go from left to right, from right to left, any kind of orientation you want. I'm gonna choose in, and then you've got animation duration. So this is how long the effect lasts for. I'm gonna push this right up to three seconds. And now we wanna have a look at how this actually displays. To do that is super simple. All we need to do is come over to preview and click on this here. You can now see how your text is going to work with the transition. So that's really, really helpful. And you can use this preview button every time you make a change to the video or the text to actually preview how it's gonna work in the real world. So these are the different um, options that you have available to you in the text part of this. Now, something I'm gonna show you which is really important is you actually have layers which you can change as well. Before we go on to layers though, let's just change this text to say something like club night is going to be more fitting for the video and then you can see this change happen here. When that's done just click off it and that will save automatically up here. So you have layers on this program which is brilliant it's just like Photoshop and layers are so important for a few reasons but if I just give you a really easy and brief example I can grab this drag it underneath and then you can see that the text is now behind the video clip. So this means that when you do transitions, failing in and out, you can actually mess around with all the different layers so you can make them work together in different ways. So I'm gonna drag that up for now and carry on. Let's take a look over here on the left hand side because this is where so many of the options are that you have available to you on InVideo. What's amazing about this program is it has such a huge range or library of images and videos. In fact, they have over a million that you can choose from. So if I wanted to change this video, for instance, all I'd need to do is click in media here and then I could type something which is relatable to the video. In this case, it's a club night, so let's say I type in club, and let's see what comes up. I press enter, and now I have access to all of these different videos which are filmed in a club. So you can quickly see or imagine how you can put these videos together with all of the content that you need. And this is gonna save so much time because not everyone has the time to film these clips or they just don't have the availability to do this. They don't have the camera or the equipment. So you can straight away see how InVideo is saving you so much time and it's just gonna be something that is really worthwhile. So I'm just gonna pick one of these clips here and show you how this works. If I click on this here, you can see that I get a preview of the video. So this is a nice slow motion clip of a woman and her friends and they're dancing around in a club and they're not really happy. Now this says here, this video will be added without any watermark. Now that's important to know because at the moment it says story blocks, but this will vanish when you add it to the video and it's uploaded. But this is a premium video. So at this point, it's very, 
important for me to talk through some of the options you have available to you. Within video, you have both free and paid accounts. Now you can actually do a lot on in video on the free account, which is really good because a lot of the different options out there really strip back the freed for the free account so you don't have many options and then you feel the need that you have to pay. But to someone that's just doing some like basic edits and to someone that's creating short videos for social media, then in a lot of instances, the free account's gonna be good enough. But if you want to make the most of the premium account where you get access to all Shutterstock, story blocks, all these different kinds of videos and content out there, over millions of this, then you will want to choose the paid account. And they've said that anyone who signs up after watching this video, or in their own time, it doesn't have to be straight after the video, will get 25% off their sign up. And this is a big saving, which is definitely worth making. So for you guys doing that, for, the, for my subscribers or for the people checking out the video, I will leave this link in the description. You can check that out at any time and you can decide if you want the free account or the paid account. So let's just click on this video here. And now I'm just gonna simply hold it and drag it in to my video. When I do that, I get some options which show up. So you can see I've got replace, so I can replace the video I've currently got on there. I can add it behind so that I can kind of use different layer effects and then bring it through or not. And then I've got add as a layer. Now this is really powerful because I can drag it up and down in the layer stack and decide if I want it to show or not. So in this instance, I may just do add as a layer because I might not want to change the video. So I'm just going to add this as a layer. The next option is to decide how long you want the video. So for me, I only want this clip to be quite short. So it's just a really easy slider here. So I can just click on it and drag it down to the amount of time I want. And you can see that that's shown here. When you've done that, press done. Of course, you can just use the full video length if you want to, that option's here too. So I'm just gonna click done. And then you can see this video shows up here. Now it's not the right size that we want, no problems. All you can do is just click and drag this to the size you want. As simple as this. Or you have other options to do this with where you can actually just make sure the video is selected, come into the edit area for the video, and then just simply choose video resizing options and then you've got a bunch of options here which you can choose to do that with. So now I've got the video here, let's just preview it and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm actually really happy with the way that looks. It looks really nice and it's in fit and it's in keeping with the video. So now what I can do is I can go on to the next clip and edit that. But quickly, I'm gonna show you how to do this. If you click on this little arrow here, you can create a transition between the two videos which are showing in your full video. So, or the two clips, should I say. So I can choose one of these transitions and then decide that that's how I want it to go from the one clip to the other clip. So for this, I'm just going to decide to actually do something like, let's have a look. I'm gonna use this one, stack zoom. Now this transition is set up between each one of these clips. So when it goes from this clip to that clip, you'll get that real nice smooth transition into it. If we move on to this clip, we can start making changes to this. So I can do the same as what I was doing before. So for instance, the actual text here is not in English. And in this case, I need it to be in English. So I just click on the text my edit area comes up here, and then I can start making changes to it. I'm happy with the style and the font of this. I'm happy with the color. The animation, let's see what animation it is. It's a fade in, so I can change that animation if I want. So I'm just gonna change this to slide from right to left. So it's gonna slide in this way. And then I want my duration to be at three seconds again. 
so it does it quite slowly. Then I can just quickly preview this. And then you can see that that has been added to it. Now I actually think that this clip here is quite short, so I'm gonna change that in a minute and show you how to do it. But first, let's change the text while I'm thinking about it and then change it into English and put something like club dance night. And that is now the text there. You can then click on this and do the same. I'm just gonna change the text here. And then this is edited here as well. Now this clip, if we preview it again, it happens quite quickly. So I don't think you've got enough time to really read the text. If you wanna make changes, you can. So I can make this clip run a bit longer. All you have to do is click on the scene duration here and then you can change that. I'm just gonna click on it like this and press seven and enter. And then you're gonna get this come up, just click yes, don't worry about that. And this is gonna change it to seven seconds. We click preview now. This is actually going to be a seven second clip. So you can easily change how long the video is and how long it displays. Okay, if we then move on to the next clip, you can actually keep editing each clip. And you can see how quickly you can work through each one of these. It doesn't take much time at all. As soon as you know that you've got the pre-made template that you're happy with, all you need to do is make just little changes and then you will be happy with that. Okay, so once again, I'm just gonna change the text. And then I don't actually like the size of this box, so I can just simply click and drag the box down like that to resize it. And look how simple that is. I can also decide that if I didn't like this box and I wanted it to be something else, you have other options over here. You have other shape options, which you can click on, and then you can choose different shapes to actually apply these in here. So you just click on the shape and then it will show up over here and then you can make changes to it in the edit area. So I'm gonna move over to here straight away and then all I'm gonna do is carry on making changes to this, the text. Twenty percent off all tickets online. Now I don't like the way the text is, so I can just drag this up, and then that will resize it for me, nice and simple like that. Now, as you can see, this is saying saved here. You can also click on save there if you want to. You've got two options. I'm not sure why that's there to be honest with you, because I think it actually just saves here. So I don't think you need to worry about that. Let's move over into this one. And once again, you can change the video up here. You can click on media and you can change the clip if you want. But I like this clip if we just click on preview. I think this is really fitting for a club night. Two of the DJs looking like they're having a great time. Okay, so now we're on this one and we're coming towards the end of this actual full video. I think I'm gonna make a few more changes and show you how different things can work on here as well. So I'm just gonna quickly change the text on this and we're just gonna put VIP Once again, I don't like the way that's showing, so bring it up. And then if it doesn't change it for you, you can click on this, and then you can change the size of the text. By clicking on style, and then just change the text size here, and I'm gonna change it to 80, and enter. And then that changes the size. Then you can click on this and drag it up. And you've got these nice lines which make sure everything is centered and it shows you exactly where you need to put it.
Now I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to create another transition. So I'm going to grab this here and I'm going to choose something pretty cool. So let's just choose, let's say, slide down. Let's try that one. And then preview. There we go. And then that will slide into our last one here, which it finishes with this here. You can see actually that my logo is showing up on this page. Now every new video that you add in, if you've added your brand presets, which I showed you right at the start, and you've added your logo, then you'll actually get your logo show up. So you can choose to keep that in the video or take it out depending if you want it in or out. So I'm just gonna press delete and then I'm going to call this Dance Fest. And then put in a website www.dancefest.com. Okay, so the text is too big. So I'm just going to click on this style text down to 20, enter. It's a bit small, so bring it up to 30, press enter, and that's a lot better. And now, of course, you can just change the colors if you want, so I'm gonna change this to be a purple color. And then I'm gonna change the animation Fade from right, I'm going to have this come in as a blur. Change it to two seconds and then press preview. So you can see here how easy it is to create a video on InVideo and all the pre-made templates are like this. In fact, you can get ones which are even a lot more simple than this to actually edit and create with. Now, I think it's important I show you a few things over here. You've got music, which you can add different songs and different music to your videos. You've got a whole bunch of categories, which you can choose from, which actually are pretty much set up in emotions. You've got angry, bright, calm, dark. Now, inside each one of these, you, of course, have a lot of different options as well. So if I click on electronic, I've then got all these different um, electronic songs here I can choose from. So let's just give this a bash. And then you can actually add this by pressing select. And this will change the audio that you currently have on here to this audio. So that is super, super powerful. And it shows how much of a powerful editor it is. You can then change text. You've got a whole host of different text designs and fonts that you can choose from, all set up in different categories here. Then you've got stickers, and this is something which is pretty cool. You can add stickers across to your video as well. So obviously emojis are really popular in social media, so you can actually use emojis if you want to. So let's just, let's just grab the devil one here. I don't know why I've chose that. And then you can add this above there if you want to and then use that as kind of an emoji to show up. Now, this is not gonna work very well for this video, but I'm just giving you some examples of what you can do. So you've got all different emojis and different kind of stickers you can choose from. If you don't want something, just click on it and you can press the, the bin sign here to get rid of it, or you can just press delete on your keyboard and then it will go. You've got effects. Now effects are super, super cool because you can add all these different cool effects into your video. And this is something you see with uh, video creation and videography, and it's used all the time in different videos to make things look more attractive. I'm just gonna grab something like fireworks here, and then if I just choose this effect, let's go for the really green one, because that goes with the greens here. This is gonna add it in, and then as you can see, this is gonna show up in the middle here, which looks pretty cool. And then you can edit your, um, you can edit the fireworks effect here if you want to. You can also change it on the layer stack so it can kind of show up before or after it. 
So if we just give this a little preview, it's not necessarily going to look perfect for this video, but once again, you can see what you can create with NVIDIA. And that just shows up in the middle there and creates this really cool firework effect. Okay, so I'm just going to click on that, press delete, and that's going to get rid of it. You've got shapes, which I showed you earlier, which you can add in. You can use them in text boxes or different designs. You've got enhancers, which is another really cool feature. It's got mass in, which is cool. I mean, if any of you use Premiere Pro, which is a superb video editor, but it's not really the best for saving time, uh, you have to put a lot of intensive time and work and effort in to actually edit your videos. You can actually use masks on NVIDIA, which is brilliant. This is like high-end video editing things, which you can kind of mask certain parts of the video out and create some really cool effects. Now, I have never used masks on this, but I would love to give this a try. And of course, I can do this and let you know how I get on. But this is honestly really powerful and something you don't see in many video editors. Uploads is when you can upload your own images, pictures yourself, so you're not using the vast and extensive library of videos which they have on offer. And also you've got add scene as well. This is where you can add another scene in here and you can just kind of edit it yourself. So it's like a clip which will show up here and then you can just use it to create more video in the timeline. Now something I'm going to quickly talk about is InVideo have something called IVA, which is actually the world's first intelligent video assistant. You might be wondering what the heck that is. Basically, it's an assistant which helps you or tells you if you've made any errors to your video and it corrects them for you. Now, I'd like to think that I've done everything right in this video um, and there's no issues, but if there is an issue, then this actually can fix it for you. Now, let's just give it a click and see if there's anything that needs fixing. It analyzes scene and it says, woohoo, you've made a pixel perfect scene. So it's telling me that I've done a good job. But if things are wrong in the scene, like there's some text which is completely out of excess, it was going to give you some recommendations relating to the text and what to do. So that's a really cool feature. It's not something I'm going to use too much, but if you're a complete novice and you don't really know what you're doing so much, then this is going to really help you and guide you to kind of take care or fix some of the errors which might be in your video. Okay, guys. So I've actually showed you the pre-made templates which you can kind of have and use on in video. When you've actually created your design, it's important then for you to know that it's saved, which is saved here, and then you can preview and export it. So I'm gonna click on this so I can preview and export the video. It's gonna preview the video right here so you can see how it's gonna work. So let's check that out. Now, if you get any lags or delays which actually happen while you're doing this, this is a result sometimes of the bandwidth, which it says here. But rest assured, the final render will come out crisp, and it does. So if we press on export video, then this is going to export the video, and it's going to do this in the background. It usually does a very quick job of this. But I actually made a video earlier. I hope you found this guide today on video marketing and using in video really valuable. Hopefully you really benefit from this moving forward now and creating your own videos on social media. If you want to get in video free, you can just join up simply by clicking the link in the description. InVideo also reached out to me and said that they would give everyone who signs up through my link 25% off 
their monthly payment. Now this is a big saving to make. So if you're interested about getting the most out of InVideo and using things like story blocks and Shutterstock video and getting everything that this platform offers you, then you can click on that 25% link off in the description and go there and sign up today. I wanna thank everyone for joining me today. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe and more importantly, hit that notification bell to see more videos and content in future. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.